What's he gonna do? He's gonna do something. He's gonna do something. Something awful. Oh, holy. Oh my. It's the being of everyone's nightmares. Half bony sore, half zombie sore, and with the cunning mind of an evil million year old witch doctor, essentially. So, two new foes. Z Rex, rank 14, a close range large class. Uh, really good attack, pretty good defenses. I suppose. And uh, really good support effects. 40% decrement to defense, accuracy, and speed. Zonga Zonga is the real threat here, as you can probably imagine. He is a close range Titanic class. He's rank 16. He is 648 LP, 81 attack, 21 defense, 34 accuracy, and 6 speed. His attack, his Support effects are the only good thing about him. A 53% decrement to all stats for his own allies once he's in the support zone. We want to fight this guy at long range because the Z, Z Rexes are going to inflict their support effects on us, which will make it incredibly hard for us to fight. Karkar is going to kind of be our meat shield while these two um, attack from the... Uh, From behind the scenes, I guess. But honestly, Zonga Zonga is a huge threat. Z-Rex is a threat, I guess, as well, because they have a special ability called Resurrect. They come back in two turns if you defeat them, so... Go for Zonga Zonga first, that's all I'm saying. Zonga Zonga himself, his weakest skill, despite having a power of 131, which is ridiculous, it costs 350 FP, so his all of his skills are incredibly expensive. And I suppose that's really the only good thing about Zonga Zonga. Are you ready? This is the real final battle, viewers. Wish me luck. If we lose, it's all over. All right. Let's take him down. These guys are dead meat. Uh-huh. See what I did there? Okay. Enough zombie puns. We want to use our rotation skill. We want to get Zonga Zonga into the support zone. So it's going to be endless Tricera combos. However, he also has the FP absorb ability, which is unfortunate. All right, Nikto Ace, she's at almost optimum range. And I imagine you are going to, yep. Zonga Zonga tends to wait and build up his FP. So, Nikto Typhoon, ooh, that sounds awesome. All right, Nikto Somersault. 123 damage, that's impressive. I imagine he's going to strike next turn. It's going to be a doozy. A doozy of an attack. Rotating. Necromancy. What happened? Poisoned, enraged, and scared. Tricera is seriously crippled. Okay, can we at least use Tricera combo? Yes, we can. Let's try. Let's just try it. And it missed. Okay. This isn't going well. It's not going well so far.
Okay, I'm unsure of what to do. I'll skip a turn. Hopefully, Zonga Zonga doesn't target Tricera again. Ghost King. Okay, Tricera lived. So did Karkar. And it missed Nikto. Parting blow. That will help. Let's beat him down right here and now. Look at that. 280 attack power. That's ridiculous. One, two, and three. That was a triple threat if I ever saw one. And it did a wicked amount of damage. And because, why not? Massive Jaws. Okay, Zong the main threat has almost been defeated. And I hope he's probably gonna use Evil Horn if I know him. Oh no, he's gonna per he's gonna stock up. His loss. Running Smash. Take out the Witch Doctor. Okay, now we can breathe a little bit easier. Okay. Creep tactics. And that's the end of Tricera. Don't worry, your sacrifice was not in vain. Undead assault. So they can breathe fire, which is interesting, I suppose. Oh yes, something you should know about the bony sores is that they're... Um, they're of the legendary type. It's supposed to be similar to neutral. Basically, no type advantages. Which makes them a little bit harder to defeat, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Come on, Karkar. -kar. They're gonna stock up. Nikto Star will end him. I suppose. Yep, this will put him in slightly better range for Kar Kar Combo. Did exactly 100 damage. Not as much as I was hoping for. And it's time for Undead Assault. I think this is the end for Kar Kar 2. You fought well, Karkar, -Kar, and once again, it's up to Nikto Ace to finish ev to finish what you started. Nikto Hurricane. And rotating. Awesome. Oh, not Resurrect! Ah, oh, I forgot. I totally forgot about Resurrect. Zombie Breath. And she was poisoned by that attack. How cruel. Nikto Star at first. 
We'll wait before using um, Nicto Wave. Oh, saving up for a little more uh, oop in your attack, I suppose. That's not going to happen, Zonga Zonga. Thank you. Zombie breath again. More poison, but the good news is once one Z-Rex has been defeated, I don't think they'll be able to use the team's skill anymore. Alright, Somersault. Alright. A couple more turns, and then Zonga Zonga will be defeated. Fight all you want. Finish you. There he goes. That's the first Z-Rex, again. Undead Assault, and he's not bothering to shift into a better range. So this attack won't do a lot at all. Alright. Off you go, Nikto Star. And that, folks, was King Zonga Zonga. We won. That was it. Car Car gained a rank. Thanks for your services, Car Car. I told you your sacrifice wouldn't be in vain. Rank up for Tricera as well. Nikto Ace also gained a rank up. You did very well, my friend. Dimetro, you served your purpose in the previous battle, so congratulations. Office, you did as well. All of you, you were great. Even my final spell failed. Why? Where do you get this power? My friend loves fossil battles, but loves vivisaurs even more. They respond to this affection and give their all to Volantes' cause. Impossible. Some pathetic, mewling child won the hearts of these ancient creatures? Is that what makes a fossil fighter? I don't understand. I don't understand any of this. And with those words, the skull of Zonga Zonga became no more. It's over, Volantes. Thank you. Without you, I'd still just be a bouncing skull, and the world would still be in terrible peril. Without Zonga Zonga, the castle is starting to collapse. And there's no way, there's no escape. What are we gonna do? <gasps> ah! Once again, saved by a Terra.
As y'all know, the Cagliostro Fossil Park and the world was recently facing some grave times. The ancient sorcerer Zonga Zonga up and tried to take over the place with his dark powers. But thanks to the work of a single fighter and some friends, the world was saved. Now let me introduce y'all to that fighter. May I present the courageous fighter that whooped up on Zonga Zonga, Volantes! Come on, Volantes, get it together. Cameras are fun. You're not worried they're going to steal your soul or something, right? We've been on camera before, haven't we? Old Zonga Zonga wanted Volantes' body for his own, but our hero was having none of it. And with hard work and courage, Zonga Zonga was defeated once and for all. And so, as was promised, I'm handing over the keys to this here fossil park. Now, I know it weren't me who promised the park, but it came from my body, so I feel partially responsible. And besides, I can't think of a better way to express my gratitude for all you did. You're going to be a right fine park owner, Volantes. I know it. So you're going to accept, right? But, what's this? I reckon I'm a mite confused. Why don't you want the park? Well, either answer will do. Joe helped us, and Joe gave us dreams. He saved her life, and it was because of that that we decided to become fossil fighters. That's right, you know. It was Joe who first came to our rescue. I think this is Volante's way of repay to repay that debt. Am I right? Well, shucks, Volantes. Alright, you twisted my arm, so I'll stay on as the owner. And now that we've wrangled that out, I've got another announcement to make. This here tournament was a great success, in spite of it being set up by some evil witch doctor. But while I was Don Boneyard, I did my best to mess it up, and I feel right shameful for it. So sometime soon, I plan on holding a second Caliosteo Cup. And it's going to be the biggest, baddest, rootinest, tootinest tournament ever. So I want y'all to get ready for the Caliosteo Super Cup. You're going to enter, right, Volantes? Wouldn't be the same without ya. Yeehaw! And let's show this world of dinos and dreams its biggest adventure yet. And that was that. That was it. That was Fossil Fighters Champions. Now I can finally finish Pokemon Y. Well, as soon as I find enough time in my um, busy university schedule. That's definitely coming up real fast. So you might not see any more videos from me for a good long while. Um... Now, as far as the Caliosteo Super Cup is concerned, I won't be showing that off. I have plans on doing everything in the after game, but the thing is, I already completed the Caliosteo Super Cup, and there's no way we can do it again. So I'm going to have to leave that part out when I see you folks next. And... Yeah, I'm just going to have to explain it the best I can. However, I think this playthrough has been a success. As I said at the very beginning of this playthrough, I really love this game. I think it's just as good as the original Fossil Fighters game. The plot was just as good. The, the characters were even better. Um, the graphics were good. The battle mechanics were so much fun. Except for that auto battle thing. I think that's really stupid. Especially because it kind of screwed over my um, final battle with Rupert. But, however, I still have to agree that the original Fossil Fighters is great in every way. The plot was fantastic. The characters were amazing. 
Um, the whole love triangle between Duna, uh, Rosie, and the hero was pretty nice, I have to admit. And the whole choosing your partner at the end of the game to influence the very end of the story, I really like that touch as well. However, in terms of subplots and whatnot, I think this game had it beat. Sure, there weren't as many references to the older game as I would have liked, but it's still a good game overall. I really enjoy it. My favorite characters... I did say that this game had better characters than in the original. In general, of course, exceptions apply. But in my opinion, the best characters in this game were... Oh, honestly, now that I'm starting to think of it, I can't really say. I don't really have... I can't really make up my mind. I, I really liked Don Boneyard while Joe Wild West is posing as him. Rupert was interesting, and in my opinion, I think the Bare Bones Brigade trio was the best of them. I loved them. They're awesome villains. Oh, and how can I forget Professor Scatterly? So, yeah, this isn't the end, viewers. I'm definitely going to be doing the rest of the... Not the rest of the story, sorry. But the after game. I'm going to be doing the after game sometime soon. Once I can find uh, a break in my bu busy schedule. So, what more can I say? This is the end of Fossil Fighters Champions. But it seems there's still one last scene to get through. I can't believe how much happened. I mean, we've only been here for a few days. It has been an amazing experience for me as well. I remember the joy of battling and was able to reconcile with my father. The tournament has changed me and I will not soon forget it. Me too, Digga. Don't forget me. Before I came here, I couldn't even take off my Digga dumb mask, Digga Dig. But now I can talk and laugh and all that stuff. Plus, I'm not a huge snob anymore. And I learned how to be brave, which means I'll never fake a stomach ache again. I can't thank you enough for all you've done, Volantes. Huge thanks, Digga Dig. Thanks, buddy. There is one or final order of business to take care of. Be careful, Volantes, because I'm going to beat you in the Cagliostio Super Cup. Digga! That's what I was going to say. I'm way more powerful without this mask, Digga Dig, so you better watch out next time. Oh wait, me too. I'm totally going to win next time. I'll beat all of you. I think we have more adventures awaiting us in this fossil park. I know, Digga. We're going to have fighters coming in from all over the world. Plus, I have about a zillion fossil rocks I need to excavate, Digga Dig. I feel the same way. I'm so excited I could just pop. Come on, everybody. Let's go digging. In the middle of the night. This park will be even better when I'm sharing it with friends. Ah, the magic of friendship. Well, I suppose this is where I call it quits. So, I have been Cottonmouth255, the Spore Serpent, and I'll see you again soon for the rest of my Pokemon Y playthrough. And even sooner than that, the rest of this playthrough. So... Yeah, I'll see you as soon as I can, viewers. Thank you all for watching. See you all later, and happy digging.